The auto execute area of your script is the top section up until it encounters a return or an exit or a hotkey or a hot string. The things that you'll include in the auto execute area is anything that you would want to have launched the moment you launch the script without having to press anything else. For example, if I want to make my script single instance, I would put this in my auto execute area. If I have any variables that I want to pre-assign before they get used by anything else, perhaps I'll put them in here. So I'm going to create a simple variable here that I've named my text variable and I've given it a value of hello. If I have nothing else that I want to include in my auto execute area, all I would simply do is just add in a return. And now anything that is outside of after this return needs some way for it to be executed. So that could be perhaps in my auto execute area I could create a call to a function and down after my return I can actually create the function. Likewise after my return I can include any hotkeys I'm going to be using in this script. So in this example I'm going to use number pad 1 as a hotkey and all I'm going to do when I press number pad 1 is display a message box that contains the contents of this variable here. So it'll create a message box that says hello. After that I'll just add in a return and that is it. So like I said, the auto execute area is anything in your script that you want to have launched automatically when you first run your script. This could be loading files, setting timers, creating variables, etc. etc. And it ends when you hit the first return, exit, hotkey, or hot string.